y'all and welcome to my Rona haul. First of all, I'll say that most of the things in this haul are collective from maybe over the past month. So most of it was obtained online, but um, a few things I found uh, a little before the stay at home orders. So in case you had a question about that, you know, thought I would put it out there. And secondly, um, these are just fun videos for me to do, and it's not to brag, it's just that, especially when we have to stay in, it's fun to see other people's finds and, you know, what they may have found online and stuff like that. So anyway, thanks for stopping by, and if you want to see what I've found for spring, then keep watching. Okay, first of all, I'll show you these pink sport bras that I found. This is kind of a... I would call it a baby pink, and it's a sport, a pink sport. Um, the cups are removable, and the back looks like this. It has a mesh right here. That's where I get a hot, hot a lot of times in the summer, and so that may be handy. The other one is kind of a fun print. It's sort of a pink reptile print or something, and uh, has this little cut out right here the back I think is pretty plain yeah and I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna keep these or not it's really hard to find comfortable bras these days so I don't know but um sorry they were on sale for maybe twenty dollars each I don't remember but yeah I got those maybe about a month ago you might could still find them online and secondly, I got the idea for this from another one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Leah Alexandra. I follow her because she's another Christian YouTuber that I like a lot. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love this stuff. And I'm, I'm glad that I decided to try it out after seeing it on her video. And so I use this on my face every night before I do my um, cleansing facial bar. And it smells amazing. It's like being able to enjoy coffee in the bathtub. I'll open it and show you what the texture is like. It's really like brown sugar with a few coffee grounds in there. It smells so good. I can't wait until that time every night to be able to use this. Alright, next uh, is a little shelf I found from Target's Dollar Spot. That was maybe six weeks ago, so I don't know if you can still find these or not. You know how things sell out. But anyway, this was $5 from the Dollar Spot. Or bullseye playground whatever you want to call it now um this is going to be used in my daughter's bedroom to put her lego pokemon figures on because she needed a place to display them because you know if you have a kid that likes legos those things come apart really easily all right and i found these at the dollar tree it's a protein uh trail mix blend and i like to have handy um snacks all the time especially healthy snacks so um i've already eaten one pack of these it's easy to eat a pack at a time but anyway they're only a dollar so you know that's good i found this basket at dirt cheap if you're not familiar with what dirt cheap is it's like a uh sale store in the south and in the east where they take items from other stores that have closed down or that they've tried to sell and cannot sell or like a store that had damage somehow and i think maybe i paid about four dollars for this basket i don't know what i'm going to use it for yet but i know i'll find something good and i made the tassel to go on it just with this, some embroidery thread and i found the video on youtube on how to make the tassel so that was a fun project i may have to do more while i'm inside next is this little basket um it has sort of a felt bottom and it was from dollar general just maybe two weeks ago we found a dollar general that didn't have anybody in it one night we put on our face mask went in and just browsed a little bit and it was nice there was nobody in there we didn't have to worry about it and so anyway this was originally eight and i had it on sale for half price for four i'll probably put that in one of my shelves somewhere and then from walmart uh i thought i would mention these equate brand razor blades and since they have the green handles you would think they're for sensitive skin i may have thought they were but i guess not anyway um they don't go dull nearly as fast as the name brand ones so 
and I'm sure they were cheaper. I don't remember how much they were, but I know they were cheaper. And these have been really good. So I'm glad to find something that I actually like that don't go dull. If you're a person that shaves every night, you know, you can go through a razor just maybe over a week. Anyway, next, um, some pajama shorts. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a try on for these because they're pretty short. And I will tell you that normally I wear a large or 14 and stuff. And I got an extra large in these. And they run true to size. I wish I would have gotten a large because the waist is so big that like when I sit down, the waist rides up on me because it's so loose. But at least they're comfortable enough where I can pull them down around my hips because they're pretty short. And I don't like my thighs. I don't know if there's a woman around that does. But anyway, uh, these are, I'll get closer so you can see. I love the detail little buttons on these. And so... I thought these would be good for next Valentine's Day or just if I want something colorful and cute. And I have to show you the back. Look at that pocket. Isn't that adorable? And I've been enjoying these around the house a lot. And they come in a two-pack, pa pair, two pairs pack online. And once again, I don't remember how much they were either. But hearts are my favorite shape ever. And so when I saw these, I had to get them. This is like a neon yellow and maybe close to a neon pink in here. So I wore this with a tie-dye, neon tie-dye tank top. And um, they go really cute together. And once again, this one has the, oh, where'd it go? Here we go. The heart on the back also. So that's one of my favorite um, um, qualities of these. And I hope my daughter don't get embarrassed, but these are so adorable. I just had to show you these little... Um, little training bras from Old Navy. I, I I know you can't see them well in the package, but they were on sale, a really, really good sale from Old Navy just maybe over a week ago. And I don't remember the price, but they come in a two pack. And I just had to show you because these are so adorable and I'm going to, I'm going to leave them in the package until she tries them on. And I'm going to send them to her because she's still with her grandparents in Mississippi and I'm not. So I'm probably just going to send them kind of a care package soon. Okay, and I also found these plates on sale from Walmart for $4.50 each. I think they're normally, let's see, I'm not sure what the regular price is, but... As you can tell, they're kind of a rainbow iridescent. Really, really pretty. The back is just black with that um, design on it. And I only got three of these. I kind of wish I would have gotten four, but there's only three of us in our family. And um, I discovered after I got them and peeled the sale sticker off that they're hand wash only. So I kind of wish they would go in the dishwasher, but we'll enjoy them sometimes when we want something a little bit nicer anyway. And this is my favorite new coffee, Rev. These are K-Cups. And um, I get these from Keurig online. And the reason I like to get stuff there is because I get reward points with them. And so I get discounts being a subscriber. And you can also get things in smaller boxes when you just want to try it. Like I also got some um, donut shop coffee that was mocha coconut mocha or something like that that's really good too and in case I hadn't liked it I only have bought six instead of a big box of 18 or 24 and so these are only um three dollars and something maybe 350 and it's a good strong dark coffee which is what I like for first thing in the morning and we've also discovered Mountain Dew Zero we used to drink regular Mountain Dew all the time, but we quit doing that because of all the sugar and caffeine. These are so, so good. It's probably the closest diet drink, I would say, that we could ever find to the original. And so we found those in a 12-pack at Walmart. And then these are really, really yummy, too. Uh, fried green tomato flavor Lay's. My mother-in-law found me these at Target, and so I don't know how much they were. Thanks, Miss Cheryl, since she got them for me. But they're really good. If you've, if you've never had fried green tomatoes, been down in the South, have a chance to have some. This is your next best bet to know what they taste like. It's not exactly the same, but still similar flavor. And so really yummy. 
Next, I thought I would show you a tank top from the brand Color Tone that I got while I was down there. There's this t-shirt shop that screen prints shirts that I like to get my tanks and some of my t-shirts from because it's such a comfortable brand. They're all cotton, and uh, if you're sensitive under your arms like I am, sometimes it can be hard to find something that doesn't rub you too much under there, but these are 100% cotton. I went with extra large, so it would be, you know, plenty um, loose for the summer, and yeah, so I've really enjoyed this, and so now on to the rest of the try-on part of my haul. By the way, just ignore the shoes on the floor. I'm going to try those on in a minute, but I found this shirt at Walmart in the pajama section probably about a month ago, and it was only a dollar or two, so I don't know if they have any more left or not. But I thought, it's still cold up here. It snowed last night, and so I'll probably get some use out of this, you know, before it even gets hot. Anyway, it says Sunday Fun Day, if you can see that or not. I don't know. And I got an extra large just because that's all that was left, and that's okay. It's going to be big and baggy and comfortable. I found this sweatshirt at Walmart probably about six weeks ago. And it says, this girl can, and it says Philippians 4.13 on it, which is the Bible verse that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And this is my favorite verse. It has a special meaning to me because um, being legally blind in one eye and totally blind in the other, I depend on God a lot more than the average person would. And I know that may, may not make sense to you, but that's okay. But that's why that's my favorite verse. And I went with a 2X, but I like it. You know, it's so baggy and comfortable and warm. And the sleeves are a little long, but when I'm wearing it outside and it's cold, that will be good too. Only because there was a large that I tried and it was a little snug in the hips. And so I would rather have it big and baggy than too tight around the hips. I don't want something that uncomfortable. So I'm okay. I'm okay with um, sizing up a bit if it means comfort for me. And by the way, I decided to borrow my daughter's mirror because the lighting is pretty bad over on my mirror in front of my closet. So if you see some something on here, it's probably sticker residue. Anyway, um, videos are a hobby for me, so I'm not one that's going to go and buy, you know, the best lighting and the expensive cameras and all that it's just fun so i make do with what i have and it's fun the sweatshirt i just had on was on sale for nine dollars and i don't buy much of anything at regular price unless i really need it so this one is from old navy as you can tell uh it's a light pastel tie-dye i haven't washed it yet so that's why it's still a little wrinkled and it's comfortable I like that it has the slits on the sides. I, I'm i not that crazy about the way it makes me look. It doesn't show off much of a shape since it's pretty baggy or anything. So I may just wear this around the house or something. And in case I didn't say, I went with extra large on it too. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've noticed that lately over maybe the past year, the sizes are changing, and even though some things I can still wear a large, lots of things are sizing down. I mean, like an extra large fits like a large used to fit for me a lot of times. And so that's a thought. You just have to know how things fit, where you get them from. And this was gotten online also on sale. This shirt came from Amazon. It's a lavender purple color. And I didn't check the size before I put it on, but it may be extra large also. Uh, it has a shirt tail hem, so this will be good for leggings or um, Bermuda shorts or something. But the main reason why I got this is because my husband um bought me or is gonna buy me a tattoo that was my valentine's day present and then all this happened so i'm still waiting to <laughs> go get it done but i have the shirt to show it off when i finally get it done and it's going to be a kind of a task to see if i can show you this i don't know if i can do this you're seeing all of my butt and everything but the back is cut out 
I don't think I can do that. Maybe from this way. I need help here, but I'm the only one at the house right now. Let's go over here and see if we can do better. All right, maybe that's a little bit better. I should have showed you while I had it off. But anyway, that was terrible. <laughs> Sorry about that. This tank is Time and True brand from Walmart. Once again, extra large. And it's a light peach color. I have a black one also, but I didn't feel the need to try them both on. And besides the black, you wouldn't be able to tell how it fits as well. Um, good length. And mostly cotton. And they didn't have a lot of pretty colors. It was like black, white, gray, blue, maybe red. And this one, I usually enjoy brighter colors, but I did like this one. And I bought it in the store a few weeks ago. But I'm sure you could probably find them online. This shirt over here is a long t-shirt. I would call it maybe a legging tee because it's pretty long. From Pink, Victoria's Secret. And this is just too stinking adorable with the peaches on here. Or apricots, whichever. I don't know. And I got this in a extra large, I think. And I got my daughter an extra small also, so we can wear those together sometime. But it's pretty good quality also, and cotton. These are from Walmart, Terra and Sky brand, and they are in a 14W. They're a little baggy, but they're a boyfriend jean, so that's okay with me. I love all the distressing that they have. If you're very tall, they may be kind of short for you, but they're supposed to be rolled up anyway. I just don't have them rolled up right now. They're perfect length for me. And um, I love all the distressing that they have here, over here on this side all over. And this one does not have a patch. This one does. I may cut that because that's why I like distressed jeans in the spring and summer. They're cooler and get more air in there. But anyway, uh, yeah, um, I like these a lot. There's not much else to say about them. I'm really digging the stone wash that I'm seeing lately. It reminds me of stuff that we used to wear back in the 80s and 90s. And so these are No Boundaries Bermuda Shorts. Good length for me. And um, cut off, distressed once again. And I went with a 17 because these are junior. And they fit very well. They have a lot of stretch. They're high rise. So you would definitely want to size up. Like I said, normally I wear a 14. These are a 17 and they fit just right. I... I couldn't imagine a different size. They fit that well. I got them online. This is a shirt that my sweet mama got for me. And it's from Forbidden Society brand. Extra large, once again. It has that um, peach fuzz sort of texture. but And I don't know where she got it from. I'm guessing maybe Belk. But I'm not positive. And normally I would wear it with, you know, nicer pants than my yoga pants, but that's what I had out. I really, really like the print and the colors. These are like the colors that I normally am drawn to. And so when I have a place to go that I want to be a little nicer, I will enjoy this. So thanks, Mama. Love you. This is a cotton t-shirt dress from Old Navy, extra large. I found it on sale like I do most everything. I like to have rewards saved up and find a sale and you can use both at the same time and your things don't cost but you know a little of nothing. Anyway mostly cotton if I didn't say that already. Uh, this will be good for summer. Just pop on some some cute shoes and ready to go. My husband likes dresses a lot too so I even wear them around the house when it's something comfortable enough. So I definitely could do that with this one. This also reminds me of something I had back in the 90s that I striped it. I couldn't find the same colors as what I used to have, but that's okay. And <laughs> I need to use my self-tanner before I wear this because I'm so pale. But <laughs> we won't get outside anytime soon around here since it's still snowing. 
I will try this on with some shoes. I got these from Walmart online. They are um, laser cut gold or copper color. I would say gold probably. They have these stretchy bands on the sides with a wedge, which makes them more comfortable. If I wear heels now, I like it to be a wedge. And so with all the shoes I'm going to show you, I'll model one on and I will hold one here so you can see it better. And I wear a size 10. And this is what they look like. That will make anything a little dressier for summer, I feel like. These are Coggin brand. They are yoga mat flip-flops in a lavender. I chose the 10 in these also. I guess that's how you pronounce the brand. This is what it looks like. And I had been told the shop that I got them from that they were going to go up on the price of them. And so they weren't going to offer any more. I was looking for the other shoe to show you and silly me i have it on uh so yeah very very cushy which is what i like these were 20 by the way then there are these from walmart they were nine dollars they have a lot of sparkle to them they're kind of a tan color you can't tell right now since i'm inside but here's a better picture a better shot of these so time and true brand they have a little bit of support i would say enough to be comfortable and my very favorite thing from the whole haul these reebok high top classics they are called high um high freestyle classic they are very 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 light pink I used to have a pair of these back in the 80s, and I don't know about you, but I'm a Strange Things watcher, and so when I saw Eleven wearing some, I was like, oh, I wonder if I could find some of those again, because a lot of the stuff that used to be popular is coming back now, and so I, I, I watched them for about a year. I was hoping they would go on sale. They never did. They just kept selling out, and <laughs> I ended up paying about $80 for these, but I'll enjoy them enough. It's okay from amazon and they were just about to sell out of most every color and so there's the logo right there i'm i'm so excited i found these and yeah size 10 freestyle high classic and i think that's about it for for my video so um thanks for watching i enjoyed it i hope you did too leave me some comments let me know what you think and so, see you later. Bye.